Hey there, hi there, hello, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to episode 11 of Gravity Falls. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Zombie attack? No. Aww. Take orders. Blood rain? Ew, that's not my suit. <laughs> no, thank you. Gideon. It's perfect. Is it going to make the shack come alive? You've gone too far this time, Duck Detective. Duck Detective. Darkwing Duck? Welcome, Stan Pines. The tax collector! You you've been me. you've been served oh. wait he's got a bag of money to start the trap door. Yes. and you are our big winner what the fudge uh, i'm gonna get a butler i'm gonna buy a talking horse but just sign here for the money uh you mabel i think that's more like breaking ha! stanford you fool you just sat over the mystery shack to win a Oh no! Well, that's why you read the fine print. The shack is hereby signed over to suck a lemon, little man. <laughs> okay, good. Grumpy stands not that gullible. I am not a threat to be taken lightly. I'll get you all. And they cut like he fades in the darkness. Okay. Want to see what else is on TV? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My favorite part's the theme song. Same here. It's a pawn. That's I just noticed. Stop stealing the tiny horse. I just noticed that the brain in the jars, one's got a man's hat and one's got a woman's wig. And Why? What? Boo. Oh, Dipper wins again. Dang. Yo, Mabel, can you pass me that brain in the jar? The lady one? I got it. Thanks. I, okay. What? No, Why is there a lady in, right. in male been. brain? Better check again, dude. Wait, what? He is shorter. Yep. Wait, no. He's got exactly one millimeter on you. What? Whoa. Well, I mean, if you count his hair, he, it's not, but. Millimeter is just the beginning. I'm evolving into the superior. Women twins. grow taller than men sooner, though. Like some kind or of alpha boys. Alpha twins. Alpha twins. Come on, guys. Boys don't, don't like mature until though. later. You... I've always wanted a little brother. Who knew I already had one? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, hey, don't get short with your sister. <laughs> Now, Grunkle Stan, you've got a three, two, one, short memory. Oh, you know, this is why in some ways I'm glad I didn't have a sibling. Oh, ooh, that's hot. I high five hard. I'm not short. Oh, come on. It's not a true high five unless you fully bend back the other person's hand. There's got to be some way to get taller. Wait, how did, how did the book get up there in the first place? Oh my god, is this going to be like... Honey, I shrunk the kids. And he just so happens to land in the, where all the crystals are. I'm not gonna lie, a miniature deer would be adorable. Ah! Huh? <laughs> that would still hurt. It still hurts, but less. I was gonna say it's still a sharp fang. Wait, so you got pink for small, blue for bigger? What's white? I'm not gonna lie, I it'd be cool if I wait, I just noticed the pyramid symbol in the window. Smaller? That's a smart idea. Bigger. Technically when did that shrink the wouldn't that shrink the chessboard too? Like anything it touches? Hey guys. Yeah, mine happens first. I'm gonna be taller in the end. It's science, Dipper. What? What? But we're the same height now. Don't make it quite that. Oh. Give it up, Dipper. <gasps> but yeah, that's more. Happened? You know, puberty and stuff. Doesn't make any sense. That's more like Even two millimeter or three. This is some kind of magicy thing, isn't it? Oh. Was it a wizard or something? There's a wizard in this closet, isn't there? Isn't there? What? Mabel. No. You're telling me that if I open this door, right isn't that the door you just came in from? It. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they go after Gideon first and not the shack—that's made of wood. Does that mean his hair is made of wood? I grew myself using this magic flashlight. He just tells her. No. <laughs> I'll be back for you later. 
I'd use it to make my all. I'd use it to make food bigger. Big head. How to snap someone's neck. <laughs> no, don't give it to Gideon! Don't, he's gonna turn it on. You just... Oh my god, Mabel. <laughs> Does he have a fetish for cars? Engine possum at no extra charge. <laughs> Mouth breathing fools. <laughs> Mouth breathing Mother. fools. That's his mom. Heard a hair on your itty bitty head. If you agree to be my queen, we live in a democracy. As for you, boy, she's gonna go into a sugar coma. Tell me, did you read about it somewhere? Focus on that word. Read quite a bit. Oh, you had the book on you? And I'll tell you. Well, don't mind if I. <laughs> You can use them. You can use them. Zeus, this maze of mirrors is your best idea that I'm taking credit for yet. We're gonna make a fortune. Oh my god. Stanford Pines. He actually was good without his hat on. This is Gideon, by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's hard to not tell. I will text you a photo. Text me a photo? Now you're not even speaking English. <laughs> he doesn't use the. <laughs> He's gonna crack. No, no, mind. He already has. And if any of you step out of line, smash! Guard those cheekums. She comes. Good guinea pig slash hamster. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Gideon's got. I mean, Mabel, when he gets to normal size, it's gonna be a tiny little gum. Walla bear. It's not waddles. I have a plan. Oh, they use his hair. Smart. Ooh, the smell in the boot. Father, could you give widow old me a wide to the mist we share? No, oh, I'd love to, sugar pie, but I have a heck of a lot of- Why does this feel like freaking Baruka from, uh- No! No! Don't tickle me! No! Yeah, this is definitely feel like- It feels like he's based off of Baruka from Willy Wonka. Tickling is no laughing matter. There we go. Do you still need a ride? I'll just take the bus! Precious memories. Just keep vacuuming. Just keep vacuuming. Come on. We need to get higher. Yeah, especially you, because you're short. Mabel, up there. What cute little thing are you on? Oh, it's her. You cute little cutie face. I'm going to annihilate my arch enemy's entire family. Oh, okay. Yay. The fact they're controlling it with the wing up. But how are we gonna stop him? <gasps> Woodpecker. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna grow us back to equal height, right? Dipper, that doesn't matter, right? Now. Seriously, Dipper. It doesn't matter, then why don't you just do it? Dipper! Why are you acting so weird? Oh, what? You mean like little? Don't say it. Little Dipper. <gasps> Really? Oh, they got Seuss. Well, well, Stanford, it appears I finally the best of There's no way you mistook him for your Uncle Stan. You'll never find Stan on the second door to the left, down the hall. 
Uh, wait, why did I say that? Stay in bed. I'm coming for you. Not to self. Don't hide with these guys when you need to. It's not your fault, Zeus. And that's why you're not the one running the shack. You kept teasing me, Mabel, like all day. What was that all about? I guess it's that you're better at me at like everything. Mm. You always rub it in my face. Chess, checkers, ping pong. I guess I finally felt like I was winning at something for once. Yeah, keeping a score with all that's annoying oh, too. Man. Am I cool? You're cool, Zeus. Yes. Uh, I mean, another reason he's there. Well, no. <gasps> oh, the reflection. You come back here. Oh no! All those mirrors. His hair so shiny. No! Don't look directly at it. His neck is really squishy. Hey, look! I'm making fat angel. Ew, turn my... <laughs> Tell my story. I. He's landing in carpet. Hey, there you are. Thought you could get away from me, acorn eh, chip. <laughs> you know how many years of bad luck he's accumulating with this? Not completely doomed to his armpit. Uh -uh, just... Ew. Nah, yeah. What is that thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, uh, Don't make the squishy the noise as they do that. You'll get me one of these days. Oh, oh. Over the carpet, there we go. <sighs> Around the end table. Steps on and, uh, Seuss no. on the way. Oh. My light! You're the light of my life too, pal. <laughs> Freak show. It actually would have been kind of funny if she made him a little bit taller. My extra millimeter. You earned it. Aw, oh, thanks, little brother. Stop it. Are. I've been trying to get your attention. Glue. Lots of glue. <laughs> Completely Don't forgets about freaking Zeus. You get your revenge one of these days. No! It's not just about revenge! I want that shack! You want some ice cream? Did you pick out all the nuts? Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> this kid. <laughs> Mr. Pines, I'm from the Winning House Coupon Savers Contest, and you are our big... It's gonna be a real one this time. No! I guess we'll have to give the prize to our runner-up winner. Fiddleford H. McGucket. <laughs> How would you like ten million dollars? It's my dream come true! <laughs> Cross this town off our list. <laughs> no. Come to here, come to here, I'll take it. I'll read the fine print first, though. All right, uh, let me go ahead and uh, get into my thoughts. Okay, so um, story for this episode or plot for this episode. Um, so Gideon made his reappearance finally. Like he's just basically been in the background lurking of the last few episodes or since his episode. Um, so he finally had a kind of a small comeback where he tried getting the dip the pines. I call them dippers. The pines. Um, uh, so, interesting, so it was tied into, which I like, I do like that it wasn't just sibling rivalry where they're both, like, just bickering, it was that, which I had completely forgotten, Dipper kind of, kind of, he rubs his victories over Mabel quite a bit every time it happens, and I had forgotten that he did that, so at first I was like, why is Mabel being so kind of pushy with this teasing thing? Um, but it makes sense that she got tired of him rubbing his victories in her face that she kind of got this one victory of being a little bit taller than him And so it's kind of like I, I don't really blame her in that sense especially at their age that I I have half siblings, but I didn't really grow up with them Like they lived separately from me. So I don't know. I don't really have a true sibling relationship, but I could relate To an extent like when it comes to friends where it's like somebody who does seems to always do better than you and they rub it in your face for that not like not like on accident but like purposely rubbing in your face and then when you finally get a victory on them 
you kind of do the same thing, especially at this age. Um, so I like that, that it's more sibling develop, like relationship development between the two of them. And of course they see eye to eye near the end and then they, I actually thought she was going to make him a little, as tall as she is. So it's kind of like equal, but I do like that he made her the right, the same height as she was before. So she is taller than him still. Um, that was sweet. Um, Gideon is a creepy kid. <laughs> Uh, but like I said before earlier in the episode that he does give very heavy Baruka from uh, Willy Wonka vibes where it's the spoiled child, but she was older than he is uh, So he's starting out even younger. I think where he's being and it was the same situation where the father was very uh, The soft one like pushover this one the mom is Gideon's mom is scared the mom in Willy Wonka was more, like, would be push would push over the dad as well. So that's probably where Burger got it from. Whereas this, Gideon's just on. Just, I guess from just being spoiled and getting whatever he wants, he's become like that. So he whines when he doesn't get his way, and he gets angry when he doesn't get his way, and he'll, like, well, he's scary. Like he's he seems like the kind of kid that would be put into an institution just because of the fact that he wants to kill people and stuff when he doesn't get his ways so it's just kind of psychotic which is psychotic uh so i actually thought they were going to save gideon for like a lapse episode thing that's when we would see him come back for anything major um so i feel like that's still gonna be the case like he just had a little small like a little small like a episode of his where it was a small comeback of his uh, but yeah, I, I still feel there's gonna be a season finale with him. Um, like he's gonna be a ma he's gonna like Grunkle Stan said about you know get some friends to help you. I wonder if he is gonna get some friends and maybe some enemies that Dipper and Mabel create along you know for the rest of the season. Maybe he gets their help and they all work together to take him. It'll be interesting. I feel like that's gonna be where it goes. Um, characters. I mean, again, I like the development between uh, Mabel Mabel and Dipper's relationship. Um, uh, Seuss is Seuss. <laughs> Grunkle Stan is Grunkle Stan. I enjoyed them all. Uh, Gideon, he's fun in a creepy way. Like, yeah, so Gideon was more creepy in this episode than he was when he first premiered. Uh, but yeah, so Gideon was great. Um, the animation i would say was good like for the i kind of wish they had given more of the like from bottom up like when uh mabel and dipper got shrunk at first and they looked up at gideon and it was that perspective of him being way taller i kind of wish they had done more of that kind of perspective but it was cool to see the different like Sue's falling into the carpet and the carpet being big and them being carried around in gideon's pocket and stuff so it was kind of cool seeing those kind of perspectives um so the animation was good as usual. Uh, music felt like well, their usual music in this episode. In fact, in fact it felt like kind of like the same music they've used in previous episodes, which is fine. It's good music. Um, but nothing really stand stood out like the previous episode with the uh, 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 Pixel Fighter one where they used music from like the old 90s, 2000s arcade machines. Uh, so music was good. Um, but overall... I would say I enjoy this episode and I look forward to the next one. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if you like early access to my full and reactions, go join my Patreon. Links in the description and pin the comment below. And that, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright. Bye.